It has been a really resilient equity market, but you're talking about this idea that at some point it will turn. It won't be a market that you can just buy the entire thing. What is that turning point? What prompts that, that breaks some of the widespread resiliency of this equity market? Yeah, so what, one of uh, the key team we have for 2024 is that you need to manage macro risk. Uh, it's not an environment where macro, the macro backdrop is going to be your friend and, you know, basically be a tailwind that you can count on over time. Uh, we think this is going to be a, a much more tricky envi macro environment. Right now, the dominant story is really about hopes of a soft landing. Uh, it's about the Fed that's going to be actually cutting rates. I think we're, we're getting close to that point. Uh, the next phase later this year will be, I think, a bit more complicated, where we're going to see that even though inflation, in our view, is going to go to two and is going to tap two, uh, it's going to be temporary. And then we're going to see a rebound in inflation later in the year. So to us, like one of the big signposts to watch out for is uh, is how the inflation narrative change. And it's not about sticky inflation staying now above two. So this is where the way the Fed is. That's what the Fed is worried. I think they're going to be uh, comforted in the fact that inflation actually is, is going to do. We're going to see things that look like 2%, mm. uh, but it will be temporary. And so, uh, and it's later. So for now, we're we think it's going to take some time before this strong constructive narrative gets disrupted. So uh, it's no, there's no point leaning against that. You want to ride that. So if, uh, going, if we see two a prints around two, Jean, and it's kind of a head fake, are you gearing up for Fed hikes down the road then when we get inflation resurging? I don't think it's about uh, Fed hikes. I think it's about like, uh, you know, market was expecting uh, more than six cuts. Now there are four. Uh, we might get two or three in the end. Uh, so it's about less Fed cuts. It's, a, it's about a shallow, very muted easing cycle uh, combined with inflation that surprised on the upside. And that's going to be a bit different. And, you know, just the fact that the, the markets have been pricing out two cuts this year uh, so far, uh, we've seen the 10 year starting to move back up to 4.3. Mm. So imagine in a world where now we see a bit of inflation rebound uh, and the 10 year is like, you know, on average uh, higher than it is right now it's going to change a bit the lens by which we're looking at risk assets later in the year.